In this video we pay a visit to Helix Park in Falkirk, Scotland and visit the Kelpies. So join us as we explore Helix Park and the Kelpies. We started our visit by parking at the first car park and crossing the road towards the wetlands. We chose to walk to the Kelpies from here to see more of Helix Park. You can also park at Falkirk Stadium on a non-match day and walk from there too. Helix Park is also a great park for walking, running and cycling. The 740-acre parkland area has 26 kilometres of pathway linking two national cycle routes and the John Muir Way. Here we see the many birds that can be seen when visiting Helix Park. Across the road is the Forth and Clyde Canal and as we walk along the path we get our first glimpse of the Kelpies. Kelpies has a visitor centre with a shop, cafe and an exhibition area. There are also a number of food outlets around the area with plenty of seats to enjoy your lunch or picnic. Built in 2013, the Kelpies sculpture by Andy Scott depicts two horses heads made from steel and standing 30 metres high and weighing over 300 tonnes each. They are the largest equine sculptures in the world. The name Kelpies refers to the mythical water beasts from Scottish folklore, which took the form of horses. However, the piece of art also symbolises the horse's role in industry and agriculture in Scotland. Thank you. 
This is the River Carron, which flows into the Firth of Forth at Grangemouth. The river doesn't look navigable from the canal at low tide, so you would have to know the tide times to use this lock here. The beach huts make a nice colourful photo spot and add to the small marina area here. marina holds a variety of boats, from narrow boats to small cruisers, with some in a better condition than others. Riverside path allows you to see the Kelpies from a different perspective and also make a circular walk. We take one final look at the Kelpies as we cross the canal and retrace our steps back to the car park. 